So Elliot Wilson makes the caption blue slide as Drake is wearing blue shoes. Not only is he wearing blue shoes, he's wearing a free Tony Ayo shirt. Our correlation with that is that he actually thinks he's 50 now. Um, <laughs> in push-ups, he mentioned that they got him moving around out here like he's 50. And Yayo did say on a Vlad interview that, you know, they got some tough guys over there in Toronto. That's why people don't want to say anything. Now, here's where things get weird. Now, shout out to this Twitter creator, I guess. She says, this is what Drake does. His fans don't know he's sending subliminal shots. Then they be confused when people don't like him. Yayo did a Vlad interview saying rappers don't want to say much because they want to go to Canada. And the blue shoe because they stopped Schoolboy from performing in Canada. Now, I'm not going to lie, not a bad theory. But it does seem like a reach being that these are blue Tims. These aren't slides. I don't know. I feel like if you really want to diss somebody subliminally, you can really use blue slides. But whatever. But this goes back to my point where I think people are more obsessed with hating Drake than actually the truth. Because Drake has done nothing. He hasn't made any music. He hasn't really said anything. He's just been posting pictures on Instagram. Ain't that what y'all want him to do? But people still find a way to get mad at it. And like every single thing that this man does, people critique. This was never about his rap skills. They just dislike this man as a person. If this man breathes the wrong way, people are like, oh, why did he breathe like that? So back to Schoolboy Q. So Schoolboy Q says, I actually get it. Never mind this low-key hilarious. I don't know why Dot put me in that video. And bro, down low said, 5-1 Machiavelli making Q lose money. I hate to see it. <laughs> That's funny. Then Q said, cancel is all I can think about. <laughs> and to then, I'll say this. Not saying that something can't happen because anything is possible. But I think people look at like Biggie and Tupac when it comes to rap beef. And it's spilling over into the streets. You have to understand, Biggie and Tupac were like 26, 25. They were young. That and Drake and all these people around in their mid-30s. These are family men with kids, grown kids, or getting there. They don't care to do all that street nonsense, bro. They're smarter than that. So, God bless.